What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman for AwesomeO.com, and I'm back with my NBA DFS contenders on DraftKings for Friday, May 20th. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter at Josh Engelman. Let me know in the comments who your favorite plays are, and then go sign up at No House Advantage using the promo code AwesomeO so that you can get yourself $25 on your first deposit. And we're rounding out the bottom of my top 10. Draymond Green, Jordan Poole, Clay Thompson, Otto Porter, and Jalen Brunson on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites? My top five plays for today? Time to find out. In at number five, we've got Kevon Looney. He's 4,800, projected for 23 and a half, and he's in the optimal lineup 47% of the time. Now, I gave him 26 minutes. I think he's live to play a little bit more. Uh, it went really well in game one, so I assume they're going straight back to it in game number two. This is not a usage affair for Kevon Looney. 9% usage, 6 points, 9 rebounds, 2 assists, a stock and a half. 7% of the time you can get away with him in the captain spot. 40% at utility. That gets him all the way to the number 5. And if I'm being honest, I think there's upside here. He could play more than 26 minutes. If he got to 30, I'm not shocked. We're talking about adding like another 2-ish points to him. Probably gets all the way up to the number 2 spot at that point. I really, really like Kevon Looney today. In at number four, we've got Reggie Bullock. He's 5K, projected for about 23 fantasy points, and he's in the optimal lineup 48% of the time. 39 minutes here for Bullock. You guys know the drill at this point. He's going to play a ton of minutes. He's out there for defense and open threes. 10 points, six boards, an assist, and a steal. 8% likelihood at the captain, 40% at utility. We're in this little tier. Now, obviously, Brunson's a little bit more expensive, but Bullock, Looney, Brunson, all in this mid-40 section. You probably need two out of those three guys in most lineups you create. Or you need two out of these four? Steph Curry is in at number three. He's 11,400, so you're paying up a little bit more. Projected for about 47 fantasy points, and he's just shy of the coin flip 49% of the time. Now, this is a different set of upside. 37 minutes for Curry, 32% usage. 27 and a half real points. That's no joke. He's one of the few people that could run down Luka. Five boards, five and a half assists, and a stock and a half. 12% of the time, we can get Curry into the optimal at the captain spot. You know what's going to happen when he does that. He's he's dropping seven, eight made threes. 37% at utility as well. Might be tough to combine the two of them with Luka. You're going to have to make some serious concessions down the line, but... Even still, 49% of the time you want to get to Curry. That Curry, Bullock, Looney, Brunson tier looking good. But do we have another guy in this tier? Do we need three out of five from two through six? We do. That number two guy is Andrew Wiggins. 7,600 projected for 33, and he's in the optimal lineup 50% of the time. 36 minutes here for Wiggins. Uh, he got a steady diet of Luka, and I think it went pretty well for Wiggins. Not that I'm super surprised by it, but he's long, he's athletic. He has the ability to try to do that as much as possible. And they're throwing a lot of different looks at Luka as well, but I think they go straight back to it. So 20% usage, 17 points, seven boards, an assist, a steal, a block. You get him in the optimal, 9% of the time at captain, 41% at utility. Wiggins, Curry, Bullock, Looney, Brunson in that group. You probably need three of those five guys. I think it looks pretty good, honestly. Uh, look, Brunson at 44% might be a bit undervalued, if I'm being honest. I'm a huge Jalen Brunson fan for today. I'm a little surprised he's at six. I like him comparably to Wiggins. If I give Jalen Brunson one more minute, he catches him. Now, before we get to that number one contender, which is very obvious... Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman. Let me know in the comments who your favorite plays are, and then go sign up in No House Advantage. Who could have seen this coming? Your number one contender is Luka Doncic, projected for 60.5 fantasy points. He is 13,600, and he's in the optimal lineup 73% of the time. 38 minutes for Luka, 40% usage, 31 points, 11 boards, 8.5 assists, and a stock and a half. He's in the optimal lineup at captain 21% of the time. He's optimal at utility 53% of the time. That's more frequent than anybody on this slate, even if you add them both together. Don't be surprised here, everybody. Just understand. Luka Doncic is very clearly, by 23%, in fact, your number one contender on DK. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are your NBA DFS contenders on DraftKings for Friday, May 20th. FanDuel version's around here somewhere, so check it out. Good luck, everybody. Win the money. We're back again tomorrow morning, kind of, 
That won't be me. That'll be Matt Savoka. I'll be back on Sunday with another edition of The Contenders.